morning everyone um, it is the 5th of May um, sunny bright sky pretty warm um, I think it's 24 degrees right now um, but upcoming days will be 28 and 30 and 31 incoming and well anyway so good weather um, and uh, we're kind of starting up the pool again I mean we did that before but the water was a little bit milky all the time and we couldn't really fix that that good because obviously we need some uh, pump hours running uh, but we didn't have enough power for that but now the sun is kicking in and we have more hours of sunshine a day so we can run the pump some more um, so it's time to uh, shock the pool once again uh, yesterday uh, we uh, used some uh, anti-algae and today I'm gonna shock and then hopefully tomorrow I'm gonna do this weird ass mixture which is supposed to like gather all smaller materials together and like clump them up so they sink to the bottom and then I could vacuum them pretty easily I never used that before so I'm gonna try but first I'm gonna test the water and then I'm gonna add the shock and um, I'm gonna show you guys the hopefully the difference within a few seconds minutes I don't know we'll see um, so this is the current situation I mean it is clear blue right it looks pretty good though the water is milky and I can tell because I can't see all the way through the bottom so um, I just picked a water sample and that's over here uh, yeah right um, so I'm gonna test the quality of the water uh, especially the uh, chlorine and the pH um, so this red one is for the pH which should be a little lower than usual because I lowered it two days ago because I knew I was going to shock and when your pH is lower your shock is supposed to work a little bit better the yellow one is for chlorine which I don't expect to be any in the water right now because well we do have two pucks all the time like the chlorine taps in the water but they're not really working too good because well the pump is not running too much so let's see let's give him a shake and the result as you can see the chlorine should be well yellowish on any of the host levels but it's not it's clear white so there's no chlorine at all maybe the lowest value which is 0.3 nah by the way yeah you're, you can read it right this um, and the pH you know it's weird it's still kinda hard to measure because I don't know if you guys can tell because right now I'd say it looks like this one the darker one which is 7.8 but if I keep it towards the blue sky it tends to be more like 7.2 so the lower one it's really depending on the light maybe I can show it to you so blue sky and then the test again you tell me it's weird right anyways um, so I have some shock available which is over here uh, it's from the Leroy Merlin we use this one every time right I got a bucket of water and the chlorine it's best to um, mix it before you put it in the pool so that's what I'm gonna do Um, 
Now I should have something to mix it with. Should have thought about that before, my bad. Uh, probably have. Right. That will do. Oh. That thing is very uh, vulnerable, apparently. Okay, so let. Ooh, okay, broke again. I'm gonna mix it. Just a little. Okay. Um, yeah, that's too heavy to lift it with one hand. That should do the trick. And I'm gonna do uh, one and a half more of those and I'll be back with you with the results. Right, it's all in the pool now. Um, yeah, it will turn a little dirty at first I guess as you can see here. Which is probably like the debris in the dead algae. algae. And then um, the pump will be running for about an hour now, and then it will turn off for an hour, and it will turn on for an hour again, and well, that's all because of our solar panels. I mean, most of you know. Um, but in total, it will run nearly six hours, which should be enough to uh, get it all mixed together. And then hopefully tomorrow we'll be good to go. Which will be very nice with uh, 28 degrees. Yeah, can't wait. I'll show you the results once it's there tomorrow, later today. Don't know yet. Okay, see you in a bit. Bye bye. Short update it's two right now, two o'clock. Water still very good, and the pool. I don't know, I don't see such a difference compared to this morning yet, but I guess we'll wait for it till the uh, chlorine really kicks in everywhere and um, after that I uh, vacuum the pool, so hopefully it gets even better, but yeah, we got great views today. So I'm gonna do some more something bathing. Right, so it's um, nearly 7, it is 7, um, I just added some of the flocculant in the pool, uh, the pump is running now, I'm gonna leave it running for about one hour, there we are, <clears throat> um, it's running on uh, recirculate right now, so the flocculant is not running through the filter and what it's gonna do is it's supposed to like gather all the debris clutch it together make it heavy that it sinks to the bottom and then we'll let it sit overnight and hopefully tomorrow everything will be gathered in a clump at the bottom so we can start vacuuming vacuum vacuum wing <laughs> darn such a hard word anyways um, yeah and then uh, it should be clear then uh, one last 
clean one last vacuum right into the waste like the waste mode on the filter and then uh, then it should be clear for next upcoming day so I'm very curious to see the result tomorrow morning I'll get back to you well the day after May 6th the flockant is uh, still uh, doing its job I guess the water is crystal clear though there's still some stuff floating on the very top and I don't know if we get rid of that but yeah this is the result so far uh, the flockant is being active for about 20 hours now the result so far as you can see the water is really clear because you can even see the bottom at the very deep point, deepest point um, but yeah still this floating stuff I hope that still sinks to the bottom because it's too small for our net well let's hope for the best a few more hours to go right May 7th two days after and um, as you can see we're done and it's crystal clear look at that Ta -da -da -da. looks good no? And the good thing is the water isn't too cold actually, it's like 22 degrees. I had a swim already this afternoon, so and I'm gonna go for another one right now, I guess. Um, so pump is running for two hours in total, a day. Right now half an hour, and then some uh, 15 minutes spread over the day. And um, yeah, looks all good, pretty clear. Let's enjoy a swim and uh, see you in the next one. Bye bye.